The St. Helena Cloud Forest Project is a highly collaborative, multi-year project to implement the St. Helena Peaks National Park Management Plan under three key work strands or pillars. The principal source of the island's water supply is from mist and rainfall recharge in the peaks. Approximately 25% of the water used on St. Helena comes direct from stream and spring flows intercepted in just two of the peak's catchment areas. Cloud Forest Project and Darwin Plus 103 data will be used to update our knowledge of water source and use over the next few years. While rainfall in the peaks is important, it is estimated that up to 60% of the fresh water on St. Helena comes from mist capture and the endemic vegetation is far more effective at this than invasive species like flax. The water pillar work is match funded from a Darwin Plus project looking at climate change and drought resilience. Our aim is to link priorities for restoration of biodiversity with priorities for rain and mist capture to increase the island's water supply and improve resilience to climate change. Work to date has included establishing a better climate monitoring network through the establishment of additional weather monitoring stations on the island. Seven automatic weather stations have been purchased and set up across St. Helena, including two located within the Peaks National Park. Data from these is transmitted to the station at Bottom Woods and from there to the Met Office in the UK. Information from these weather stations will improve day-to-day -day weather forecasting on the island and enable better, longer-term climate monitoring. Darwin Plus 103 and the Cloud Forest Project are also establishing a network of surface and groundwater monitoring sites. These locations help the project team understand how much mist and rainfall reaches the springs and streams, and how much reaches the island's aquifers. We are also looking at the difference in water captured from endemic vegetation and flax through canopy drip measurements. The majority of monitoring data is being collected by a Darwin Plus Project water resource monitoring technician with the water resource team at Connect St. Helena. Longer term, this climate, stream and groundwater monitoring data, along with geophysical survey work being done by partners, will provide a much better understanding of the hydrogeology of St. Helena and enable us to show how effective the restoration of endemic habitat is at increasing water availability on the island.